Well, it's strange how stories and songs come together here at Homespun from Niagara at Stonewall Studios, but this one did. Eva yesterday had a chance to visit with Ken and Ginny, and they were talking about maybe, you know, retiring at least for a while to Europe. And Eve came home and said, what an interesting idea. So we began to talk about, we thought, okay, if we were going to go over for a year or two or three, where would we go? And she said, well, Sarland, you got to go to Sarland, because that's where my grandfather wrote the state song. He wrote it in 1927 and then rewrote it again in 1950, the, another verse for it. But he did the music in one of the verses. So the first step was to go online and see if on YouTube I could find the anthem for the state of Saarland. And sure enough, there it is, Landesheim Saarland. With credit for the arrangement and for the lyrics, some of the lyrics to Carl Hochreib. Well, the die was cast. We're going to keep going. Did more research and here's the results. So the next logical step was to go to Google Earth and just see where Saarland was. Well, Saarland happens to be one of the smallest states of the 16 states of Germany. It's located in southern Germany, borders on France. It's about 200 miles from Paris, about 100 miles from Champagne. And I thought, oh, wine, okay. Within a few minutes of online research, we discovered that the state of the Rhineland Palatinate, abutting Saarland to the north, contains six of the nine wine-producing regions of Germany. And all of these regions are within a hundred miles of Saarbrücken, where Eve's grandfather was living with his family. And of course, then there's the matter of beer. And uh, I was instructed to research Saarland for beers. Well, guess what? In 2020, an international jury of World Beer Awards blind tasted thousands of beers from all over the world. The only German frontrunner beer was, of course, from Saarland. It's a cellar beer from the Carlsberg Brewery, spelt with a K, Carlsberg, not C, and it's in Hamburg. Saarland was recognized as the best lager beer in the world. And it hasn't gone unnoticed that our trip to Germany in 2011 was an absolute wonderful trip, and, you know... You can take the girl out of Germany, but you can't take Germany out of the girl. Eva absolutely enjoyed it. She has family there, and uh, I would love i would love to go there. We could get to England. We could get to Scotland. We could get to Italy, get to Portugal. I mean, it, it's such a central location. So, you know, who knows? It was a great idea, and we want to thank Ken and Ginny for triggering this research and triggering this idea in our mind. You know, maybe we just rent our place out for a couple or three years and and head on over. What's the risk? What's the loss? We're not sure. I I can't see any. I don't see any risk at all. Uh, I see see loss if we don't do it. Um, I was told a long time ago that there's more disappointment for opportunities not taken than for opportunities taken. So we'll pencil this out a little bit and just uh, stay tuned. We'll let you know what the thoughts are. But so far, we're getting a few green lights, none red. <laughs> 